Andy Mack on The Greatest Actor of 2020. All right. Basically, this bo- episode, I mean, it was half boring, half not. The good part about this episode is that we get two big two storylines. So I bet if you watch any Andy Mack reviews, that's the net. That's probably the negative side of it. It was too long. But the good side of it is that we finally know what Bex's wedding dress is. And, well, we haven't seen Walker in a while, so. And then he's talking about the secret society and he needs one person to join, you know. He said that there will be a card on your locker door, you know. And it's only going to be one of you. They all wanted to say no, but this was the first time they figured out they had one. So they were, they were kind of disappointed in this. And then one day later, uh, they decide uh, after uh, Cyrus gets the note and joins the secret society, he puts a note in uh, Andy's locker. And, well, that makes Buffy feel left out because, you know, when you think about it, if you have a group of friends and you love them very much, you'll love them enough not to choose anything over them. But then another day later, she gets a note and she ends up going this, walking in the secret society. All of this was a dilemma, you know, for uh, Fall, per- and Buffy just decided to say no because she felt betrayed by her friends, and so she left. And that was that full, like, half of Andy Mac decided that she should go look for her wedding dress, and she went with Cece, and they, and they looked at many dresses online and they couldn't find it. So then they went to a store to go us uh, to get a dress that was on sale. And they tried so many dresses they ended up with the right one, you know? Oh. So... <laughs> um they try to recreate the whole day and Andy goes shopping and they just and instead of just looking for dresses, they go straight to the first dress. And Andy likes it. She's thinking well, why don't you try on any other dresses, you know? And unfortunately, they don't want to because that they went through a lot of trouble. And then Andy got disappointed and felt like she was the daughter pe- betrayer against Bex. That was kind of sad. But then on the way back, they kind of apologized. And instead of buying the dress, because Andy comes to realize that she should have bought the dress, right? You know, because it, it, it's... It's the bride's choice to choose the wedding dress, not the daughter's. So, and then they, but then they decide not to get it, and hope to find the dress. There's no such thing as a perfect dre- de- dress, but Bex doesn't believe that. Bex believes there is a perfect dress, and then one day they walk past a window that has the same exact dress that she was, that she picked, you know, and they decide to buy it from that window. They all look glad, and they decide to use it, and so now Bex has a wedding dress, and well. The downside of this episode is that, well, Walker doesn't get to go to to a fall formal with Buffy, so that's sad. But other than that, the episode was half good. I wish they had more storylines. There really wasn't much going on, so that's why I'm disappointed. But that makes this episode shorter right here on The Greatest Actor of 2020. But before we wrap this video, here's a preview of what's going to happen in the next video. And in the next uh, Andy Mac, there is more storylines i kind of like on andy mac you guys really thought i'd say yes i feel bad for the guy his heart was in the right place her friend friends are kind of disappointed that buffy didn't say yes and you know buffy still doesn't regret saying no so that's a sad thing we also get to see the girl who who can't talk you know you still really like him right Uh, hold up excuse me if you really want this relationship to end you need to tell him in person It looks like Buffy wants to end this relationship between her and Va- and... What are you doing here? I'm supposed to come up with an original dance for my choreography final and perform it in front of a class. I'll be- You know? And Amber decides to teach him how to dance and it's all cool and yeah. You're a tutor. Really? You do that? Why not? Are you guys talking about me? Jonah ends up listening. And well... And the girl turns around to look at him, and well, a secret will be exposed. This might be a disappointment for Andy if Jonah if Jonah doesn't understand it or take it well. This may be the end of their relationship. So this looks like it's going to be a sad episode, but just as long as it has more storylines, guys, this would probably be even worse than the episode we just watched. So hopefully, this one gets better. But other than that, that's it, and.
next video on the greatest actor of 2020. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Hopefully this review is short. If not, oh boy. Uh, Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Robbins. So, anyway. Uh, I would have been talking about it a, uh, a year and a few months ago if I, if mom would let me keep my first channel. But unfortunately, since I had to wait until last summer, we didn't really get to talk about my high school one. But if you're going to go see the Clearfield City one, it's much worse than the high school one. It's the only the junior version, but it's still good. So go see it. Meals is out. Lightning Meals is out. Is out. Lightning Meals is out. Lightning Meals is out. I made two Once Upon Time videos. And uh, earlier this week, I did make a chocolate video and then post one Once Upon Time video today and one tomorrow. But unfortunately, we can't do that because <laughs> I accidentally posted my chocolate video. It was fortunately tomorrow. I'm just posting Once Upon Time videos. If you're not a fan of Once Upon Time, I'll see you next Friday for the next Andy Matt chat. I, I, usually, I usually post Matt chat first before anything else. But... Today has been kind of off, so. And I'll be signing off in three seconds. Bye!